Now it is time to create the second section of the movie details page, which is the actors section. So up here we have the first section. Now just below this section, we are going to have the movie actors. So for that, let us go to the visual studio code. And then in here, I'll just collapse what we currently have. So I'll just collapse this part. We have the H1 title. Now in here, just after this section, we're going to have another div row. And then we're going to have another H1 tag, which is going to be the actors, then BR. And then inside here, we are going to have another div, which is going to have the column MD12. But we are going to also add the text center class because we want all the actors within this div to be centralized. Now, for the app details, you can see that we have the app details movies for the movies part. We have the app details reviews for the movie reviews part. But looks like we have forgotten to create a separate component for the app movie actors. So what I'll do is that I'll just click in here. So I'll just collapse the code. I'll just right click, then go to open in integrated terminal. And then we are going to create a new component. We are going to name this component the ng generate a component app and then details and then actors and then I'll press enter. Now you'll see that I get an error and it says that the operation is not permitted. I'll just run the Visual Studio code as an administrator and try it again. Now that I have restarted Visual Studio as an administrator, I'll try again. So ngg for generate, c for component and the name of the component is going to be the details component and then actors. I'll press enter. You can see that the component was created and now in here you can see that we have the details actors. I'll just drag it from here and put it inside the components folder. Yes, I want to move it inside the components. And now you can see that we have the details, we have the details actors, the details movies and the details reviews. Up here, I'll close this window. Now in here inside the div that has a class, the call MD12 and the text center, we are going to call the new component. Now, if you want to know the selector, you can just go to the TypeScript file and here you can see it is named the app details and then the actors. So I'll just close the view, collapse this one and then inside here, just open the tag and close the tag. Now you can see that I get an error which says that if the app details actors is an Angular component, then verify that it's part of this module. When you have configuration related errors, what you need to do is that you need to just scroll down in here and go to the app.module.ts and in here you will see that you have an error and the reason for the error is because we did create the component outside the components folder and then we manually moved it to the components folder so in the app.module.ts, we need to reflect that change. So I'll just copy the components and then paste it in here. So the reference is correct. You can see that the error is gone. So if you go to the details component, you can see that the error is gone from here as well. Now let us navigate to this component. And then in this component, we are going to write some code. So we display the actor profile picture and all the other data. So for that in here, I'll just go to the details actors and then go to the HTML file. We are going to modify this file. And if I go to the app here on the actors section, you can see that I'm using another bootstrap component. So for that, I'll just go to the bootstrap official website and search for the figure component because that is the component I'm using down here. So get bootstrap.com and then in here go to the documentation and search for figure. So in here you have figures. And if you scroll down, this one in here just has an image and then it has a single caption, but we need to have two captions. We want to have the name and the role. Just go back here and search if we have another one. And if not, looks like we don't. I'll just use this one, the first one, and simply add two 
figure captions. So let us just copy this code in here and then go back to Visual Studio Code. Then I'll just paste the first figure. So we have the class figure and then we want to have an image. I have already pasted an image in the images folder, which you can also get from the GitHub repository. So in the assets, you have the images and then you have the actor image dot JPEG here on the right. I have a class figure image and then image fluid, then round it. And then here, if you want, you can also add another image class, which is the IMG dash thumbnail. And then down here, we are going to have the actor name. So the actor name and then another fig caption for the role. And the role is going to be in parentheses. So I'll just put it like this. Now, if we save the changes and go back to the app, you'll see that down here we have the image, but it's a really large one. So let us just go and set a max width for the image. For that in here on the image tag, I'll just type style is equal to the max width is going to be 150 pixels. Let us save the change and go back to the app. Now in here you can see that we have the actor name and the actor role, and it looks similar to what we have in here. So let us just go back to the code one more time. I'm just going to copy this multiple times. So I have multiple images, but then on the upcoming parts where we learn about the iterations, we are going to replace all this code with way less code. Just copy it multiple times. Let's save the changes and go back to the app. Now you can see that we have multiple actors and the only thing between the actors and the section up here is that we have a horizontal line just below the first section and there is some padding between these two. So let us go and fix this last change as well. For that, I'll just go to the details component, which is where we load the app details actors. And then just after the first section, so after we load the first row, we are going to add a horizontal line and then a BR, so a break, which is going to add some space. Let us go back to the app one last time. And if I go here, you can see that now the same way we have the line and we also have the space between the actors and the horizontal line. Now, this is all you need to do on the actors. On the next part, we're going to talk about the other section, which is the reviews section.